Today I have a very exciting unboxing or unbagging to put it more accurately and the brand name itself just sparks hope and optimism and images of the promised land because it feels like I'm seen, it feels like I'm being taken care of. The brand is Petite Studios and they are a New York City based brand started by someone who started off with a career in corporate and then decided to make the pivot to starting their own business. This is a path well trodden but I love reading stories like that of women that have started with traditional jobs and then they've gone on and they've done things that have been non-traditional. Now the team over at Petite Studios reached out to me and asked if I wanted to sample some of their wares, which I gladly accepted. And so for transparency, this video is sponsored by the brand. They were very keen to hear my take on their things. And so you can rest assured that I will just do my thing here, what I normally do. Now I was able to have a bit of a frolic on their website and I selected some pieces that were very much in line with my personal style aesthetic. Having said that, if you enjoy more of a feminine style, then you will be spoiled for choice. There are many, many options available for that aesthetic. And I was very tempted by a lot of their knitwear and I've chosen things across the spectrum so I can sample their fit but I think the true test of whether something really fits a petite person is in their trousers so you can rest assured that I have selected some trousers to try and I will definitely be putting them through the ringer and so I have the bag here at my feet and this is the nugget that was patiently awaiting for me to bring it inside the house yesterday after I finished a long day at work and so I'm just going to just get stuck in let's just just get stuck in. I've opened the bag as you would when eating fish and chips, nice and flat, so there's a plate for all of the chips, or here, the petite plates. So I'm just going to just go in with the first item, which is closest to me, and I'm going to talk you through what I selected, and just, let's just get this party started. Okay, so the first piece is a knitwear piece. And this is called the Paisley Mohair Sweater. This is in dusty blue and this is in a size small. Of course, I will have everything linked down below. This one has a Henley neckline and it has a puffy sleeve situation. Very reminiscent of Cezanne, very similar to their Leontine knit. Now, it is 34 degrees outside at the moment in Sydney. We are in the middle of a heat wave in the middle of September, which is unusual. Knitwear is not a very delicious proposition for me right now. I've got the aircon blasting. <laughs> So it's nice and cool in here. And so these are the lengths that I go to to share with you things. Let's pop this on and let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is the Paisley Mohair Sweater. I really like the loose, sort of relaxed, oversized vibe. I know the picture of the model on the website, she has it sort of tucked in and she's wearing it in a more polished look. But I actually prefer wearing it in this sort of relaxed style. Now, as the name suggests, this has mohair in it. It's a mix of mohair and wool in the fabric. I would say that if your skin is on the sensitive side, then you probably want to avoid this one. I do have another knitwear option in my order that will be a lot more agreeable on your skin. I'm just wearing this with a bra underneath and it feels really soft against my skin, but I do envisage wearing this with a tank top underneath. So yes, this is the Paisley sweater. The next item that I have, ah, I was particularly excited about this one. This is a blazer in their checked print. This one appears on their bestsellers actually. It must be good. This is called their Jane Blazer, which is in a very classic print. This one is a double breasted style and it is a little bit shorter at the front and a bit longer at the back. So it's got this unique design element to it. I got myself the size extra small, taking into account the size chart on their website. So yes, I am rather excited about this one. Whether or not the arms are gonna fit me right. Yeah, let's, uh, let's pop this one on. on the blazer with its oversized boxy silhouette, double breasted as well. And it's got a bit of structure to it, but not too much structure. There is some light shoulder padding in there. And the jacket is lined, as you can see. The jacket sleeves are a tad long. They're not perfect on me. They're probably long by maybe two to three centimeters. I don't know whether it's just because my arms are just a lot shorter than the typical petite person. If you're like 5'3 or 5'4, I don't reckon you'd have a problem. That said, I typically wear blazers with the sleeves pushed up, so I'm just going to do that. I, can't, I need two hands. Hang on. There we go. Much better. The fit on the arms is really nice too. It's not too slim, but it's not too loose. 
And I can definitely see myself wearing this one in a smart casual look as I'm wearing right now. I am not sure how I feel about this sort of stepped hemline situation here, but I don't have anything like that in my wardrobe. And so it does offer that point of difference. But yes, this is the Jane Blazer in a very classic print. What do you guys think? Next up, we have a pair of trousers. This is the real test. This is the Alex pants in camel. And I've got to say, the fabric feels really nice on these. It feels uh, really premium. So I am very interested to see how these, how these go. I got myself a size small in these ones. These are a high-waisted cut and they have an elasticized back, which is always great for comfort purposes, but also for fit. They um, have a pleat down the middle of the trouser, comes with a spare button. And you know what? Let's just stop talking. Let's just pop these on. Let's just see whether they're gonna work on our shorties. trousers straight out of the box and the length is okay what is this this is the length that I typically get my work trousers tailored to because I always bring my heels with me and I want them to hit at that spot and that's what's happening right now I know we're very early in with this unboxing but this is the standout piece for me right now because the fabric on this one is great the length is great and they're very comfy as well. I think it's just probably thanks to the elastic situation here. I am rather impressed, very pleased. These are real pockets. I appreciate my very how now brown cow look today with these sort of tan suede pumps as well. But I actually don't mind this monochrome look. This was just put together by pure accident, but I think that this is a very nice sort of transitional season look. They have certainly passed the petite pants test for me. I'm just gonna stand here and stare at myself for a little bit. Yeah, tell me what you guys think. While we are on the topic of trousers, let us continue that rampage. I have another pair here. This is uh, from their new autumn collection. These are called the rain pants and they're in the brownstone fabric. Again, the fabric feels really premium on this. It feels really robust. And the belt loops are also lined too, as you can see. Pockets on this one. These are, again, a high-waisted style. I've got these pockets at the back. I got myself a size small in these ones, just using the sizing chart on their website for reference. And for those of you that are new to me, I am pear-shaped, and so I'm slimmer up top and a little bit curvier on my hips. And so it is not unusual for me to size up in bottoms in comparison to my usual size. So yeah, let's, um, let's pop these guys on, hey? Guys, I'm not even wearing shoes with this one. And they hit me at a perfect length. Let me put some shoes on. Okay, I've got my mid heel Dior pumps. These are five centimeters high. And I think I like these better than the first pair that I tried. The fabric of these is really good too. There's no elastic on the back of these ones. These are more of a traditional pant. I think the pocket detail is really quite stylish. Love the color as well. I mean, it feels very autumnal, this outfit, but I wear brown year round, let's be real. Really impressed. Hmm. Amazing. Next up, I have a dress. Let me just take out of the bag for you. This is the Emily dress, which I have in the floral print in a size extra small. Very suitable for the hot weather that we have at the moment. The details on this is giving me real Reformation vibes with the slightly puffy shoulders and the delicate buttons. And it's lined, as you can see. Yeah, I'm rather impressed with the quality of this dress, just straight out of the bag, so yeah. Let us pop it on. Let us see whether it lives up to the first impressions hype that I have just created for it. So this is one of their best-selling styles and I can certainly see why it's so popular because the fit is just perfect on this one. I think it perfectly suits my petite proportions. I'm not sure whether the style is me I am on the fence about this one. Would be keen to hear your thoughts about it. And I must say, in comparison to some of the Reformation dresses that I have in my wardrobe, which are made of that viscose and aren't lined with much structure, this one feels a lot more robust. It feels like it's excellent quality. I mean, really pleased with the fit. Not sure about the style on me. 
would be keen to hear your thoughts. Let me know. Got a few more pieces in here and I've just noticed that there are some additional bonus pieces that the team has thrown in as well from their new collection. So it's a little bit fun. I can share with you my thoughts on those. This is a piece that I did select. It is another knitwear piece. It's a cardigan. This is one of their campaign pieces, I'm pretty sure, because it appears on their homepage quite prominently. It very much piqued my interest. This is a long line cardigan. Check it out. It's got this contrast stitching detail, these patch pockets, and these really cool contrast buttons. Love the oversized vibe of it. Pretty sure it's got oversized sleeves, and it comes with a matching belt. Now this one is also available in the opposite colorway. It's available in the black and the white with the white as the contrast, but I wanted to get something that would just freshen things up. I got myself a size extra small in this one and this is a deliciously oversized cut. As you can see, that's the shoulder seam. So I'm very much looking forward to this one as well. I think you can stick to your usual size if you want to enjoy an oversized cut of this one, just because they have already catered to the deliciously oversized nature. So let's pop this one on. just thrown the cardigan over the how now brown cow outfit that I was sporting earlier. I think the fit of the sleeves is great. I've buttoned it up entirely and worn it sort of as it was intended with the belt but I'm not feeling this look. Perhaps it's with the trousers that I'm wearing so I'm just gonna unbutton this, unbelt it and let's see how I feel. I feel like this is definitely more me. This is certainly how I would rock it. I just might take the belt out actually. The belt knit fabric doesn't match with the cardigan either because there's a ribbed sort of knit texture whereas this is more of a finer knit but I think that I would just be happy styling this open as is. I much prefer this sort of preppy look and the colour is a really nice sort of creamy bone colour as well it's not a stark white which is what I typically avoid with my knitwear so yes this is this is it Pockets, very cute. Uh, neckline is also very fun. I like this Cardi style like this, I must say. Much more fond of it. Hmm. Very cute. Now we have a skirt, a tweed skirt. When I had a look at this on the website, it gave me real Sandro and um, Marge vibes. So let's see how it looks in person. It does feel very good quality, I've got to say. I selected a white mini skirt, which is always a bit of a risk, isn't it? But I have embraced a mini skirt recently and I just wanted to see how it would work, whether I could integrate it into my everyday wardrobe. I don't envisage wearing this one to work because I am a real fuddy-duddy when it comes to dressing for the office. But I thought this and this cardigan, that was what I was envisaging as like my Chanel-esque type outfit. Let's see whether it'll be a complete fail or a resounding success. So yeah, I'm gonna pop this one on for you. This is a bit cute as well. It's not like a scary mini length. Like I would happily wear this to the office. And what I really like about it is the asymmetrical hem situation. I think that's a really lovely design feature. But also I feel like it's not really accentuating like pasta belly which I rock rather often. I love a big bowl of pasta. Like it's a wrap type detail. Like I feel like if it was just the one layer, yes, I would feel rather exposed in this mid section region. But with this sort of added additional layer on top, like so. yeah, it's that additional layer which provides that structure. I don't have a white mini skirt in my wardrobe and so this is filling a gap that I didn't know need to be filled. This is definitely an outfit that I would rock to something in the warmer months. But I love that it's got that element of structure and polish with this Chanel-esque tweed style skirt. Anyway, let me pop on the cardigan because that was what I had envisaged with this skirt. But I mean, quite frankly, I'm quite happy with just how it looks like this. Okay, I've gone full preppy mode and yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I've just noticed that the like theme I've got with my shoes is matching with the contrast theme that I've got here, like the black contrast on white. Anyway, purely coincidental. I mean, yeah, this works, doesn't it? It's a bit of a no-brainer. I do think that the skirt very much shines though on its own when it's on full display. So yes, this is definitely an outfit that I would be very comfortable wearing 
and it also doesn't look like it's too big on me, doesn't it? It looks like it's suited to my petite proportions, right? See what I did there? Now I have two bonus pieces that the brand has sent to me that didn't form part of my selection. They are two blouses, I can see. One is in white, this ivory color here with this detail, and one is in a dusty blue color. There we go. To be honest, I am not so hot on this pearl detail. It doesn't necessarily align with my personal style. Having said that, I will still give it a go, I'll chuck it on and I will see whether the fit works. I think the dusty blue one is the one that I am drawn to mostly. This one got sent to me in a size extra small. Let's see whether or not I will be turned around on the pearl situation, shall we? Here we have the blouse and the pearl situation which I must say it looks more subtle now that I've put it on. It's more of an accent rather than a large feature and it looks like a necklace essentially. I'm still not sure as to how I feel about it but you know it was in the bag may as well try it on and share with you how it works and how it fits. The fit is pretty good. I'm in a size extra small. I think it's a good length, doesn't need to be tucked in. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to pop this on and at least share with you my first impressions, considering this is one of their best-selling items as well. I mean, if you have more of a feminine personal style aesthetic, this is something that you would very much enjoy. Those are my thoughts. I think overall though, a uh, rather successful unboxing, I think, for a brand that was new to me, so, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight items. That is a remarkably healthy sized haul that the petite studio teams have coordinated to be sent across to me. I hope that you found this to be useful, particularly if you are vertically challenged like me, and there is a real lack of brands that cater to people of our height and our proportions. And so I hope I was able to add another brand to the mix for you. If you enjoyed this video, then you should let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, then you should subscribe to my channel so that you can get notified of any new videos that I put out. I really enjoyed giving petite studios a whirl. I really love being presented with opportunities like this, doing what I do to sort of sample new wares, particularly ones that are catered towards petites. And so thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.